Glasses people of Reddit, what is the worst thing that's happened to your glasses? Don't laugh, but, okay, you're going to laugh, and almost 20 years later I can handle it, but I couldn't have handled it for the first year or two. At a birthday party in middle school I was trying to be festive so I tied balloons to my glasses and they floated away and were gone forever. I was at the beach and buried my glasses so that I could find them later as hidden treasure. Turns out using palm trees as landmarks is a bad idea, especially if you can't see. My dog chewed a pear up. It remains as the only thing my dog has ever chewed up in his life of at least 13 years now. It's mind boggling. My friend's dog chewed up his mom's false teeth two times in a matter of months. False teeth are not cheap and insurance only pays for one pair every so many years. Was at an indoor pool with a little lazy river. They fell off. Took me almost an hour to find them. Not sure how many times they went around the river, but the lenses and frames looked like they went through a sandblaster. I almost lost mine when I was like 9 in a pool too. I was absolutely freaking out because I basically can't see without my glasses. Luckily a nice lady found them and put them on the edge of the pool. I watched them shatter on concrete because a friend of mine wanted to see how bad my eyes were. Instead of accepting no as a logical response, she yanked them off my face. They went flying and ended up in a thousand pieces. I am nearsighted and need my glasses to drive. Needless to say, I picked up my car a few days after I got replacements. Tell me you also replaced that friend. I was a catcher in high school. Caught the ball at home plate and guarded it while on my knees to make the tag out. The runner who was a foot taller than me decided to steamroll me and ran straight into me and jammed her knee in my face. I didn't drop the ball and she was out but my glasses snapped in half and cut my face pretty badly. Next time she was up she bunted and I picked up the ball and nailed the B square in the back with laser precision as she ran the front base line. Without glasses. Oops sorry I couldn't see. My glasses are broken. I was in like 5th grade. We were playing dodgeball. I took a shot in the face that sent my glasses flying and we had to pause the game so I could get one of the lenses popped back into the frame. Play resumes. Like 2 minutes later, boimph, face shot again from the same kid, who probably needed glasses himself. Now that I think about it, our gym teacher stopped the whole game and made us go inside and sit down, and the whole class was like good job, a crollo. And I'm there with a bloody nose and busted glasses and I'm like how is it my fault some other dum dum can't get his throws below chest level? Nowadays I still wear glasses. And I have two boys under three. So my glasses are constantly smudged because my kids are adventurous and kinda handsy and the facey when you're down on their level. Seriously considering LASIK at this point. I had a similar but a bit different thing happened when I was like 7 or 8 with my first pair. But in my case I took them off before going to play football, soccer for Americans, and I accidentally stepped on them. I had just got them. New lenses. Grabbed what I thought was a clean cleaning cloth, and started cleaning them. Starting with the left lens. Little did I know there was a single tiny piece of grit on the cloth and it scratched the heck out of that lens. Luckily I did not move on to the other one. Exactly the reason why cleaning with the shirt you're wearing is a risk, too. Wore them to the barn. Got knocked into by a horse. Glasses fell. Horse stepped on them. Blind for the rest of the morning. Went home. Put contact lenses in. No more issues. Ordered new glasses the next week. Username checks out. This happened recently. I got new glasses. They were a teeny bit big and kinda slipped down. But it didn't bother me. Well I ate a whole Kit Kat bar along with McDonald's chicken nuggets. Not a good mix but I was on my period and having all weird cravings. Well that didn't sit well for my stomach and I threw up. And while throwing up my glasses slipped down right in the tollet. Covered in brown liquid with chicken chunks. I didn't know what to do. And I was half dying and half blind and really couldn't think. So instead of getting gloves or something I put my whole hand and grabbed it out. Then I screamed and threw it back down the toilet, while splashing throw up everywhere. Then I rushed and washed my hands then sat on the bathroom floor and cried. I hope now getting becomes the opposite of eating. Yeeting. To throw toss. Getting. To snatch grab. Thank you for coming to my TED talk.
We live near a place known for being very windy and about a decade ago there was a storm that hit which caused record breaking winds. 70 plus easy, probably more. That night, my fiance says that we should go check it out and I reluctantly agree. When we arrive and park, the wind is so strong the car is rocking like crazy and my fiance has to climb out my door as he can't get his open. I stay inside as I watch him get flung around by the crazy gusts. He eventually makes it back over and begs me to come out as well. He also tells me his glasses were flung off his face. Oh well, come have fun, he says. I declined and he went back out to play. A while later he returns and gets back into the car. He looks at me triumphantly and tells me he found his glasses hooked on a railing over the cliff. A joyous occasion. He also found other random trinkets including a single glove, which we may still have somewhere, and an unopened Kit Kat, which we definitely no longer have because I ate it. At least your fiancé parked his car into the wind. Buddy of mine had his doors put in backwards when the wind swung the doors open at full speed. I dropped my glasses case on the parking pad at my house. We found the shattered remains of the glasses later after they had been run over by the car. Worst for my glasses. Best for me. Got shot at. Small caliber bullet. Hit my glasses where the lens met the frame and ricocheted away. A piece of the lens almost shot into my eye, but instead scraped along the side of my temple and left a small scar. You were incredibly lucky. This isn't exciting, but I went to a boarding school that was located in a rural area so there was nothing I could do about the fact that the barrel that holds the screw that held one of my lenses in place was stripped. At least once a day the tiny screw and my lens would fall out and I would have to look for it. When I was able to get to town to get it fixed they would replace the screw but then I'd get back to school and my screw and lens would pop out again. That was an annoying time of my life. Without the tools to fix it, I learned how to use a push pin to tighten the screw and I would carry it around to periodically fix it or tighten it. I was already a loser so to me, tape wasn't an option and I didn't have access to glue that was strong enough to hold it. I eventually used thread to keep it in place. I was so happy when I was finally able to get a new pair of glasses. Unrelated but later I would go on to make glasses for a living. I lost mine to a mosh pit once. Back in 1996, I had driven from suburban Philly to Harrisburg because a friend had mighty mighty Boston's tickets. I got a great spot right in front of the stage, but halfway through the show an impromptu mosh pit broke out behind me and before I could move away from it, I got elbowed in the head and my glasses went flying into the crowd. I was an hour and a half from home and couldn't drive without my glasses. So I went full adrenaline rush into the pit after them and was able to recover them after literally throwing someone to make space to search. They were a bit smashed, but I was able to tape them together enough to make the drive home. The worst thing would be playing basketball with my friends in high school and a kid on the other team I didn't get along with very well. He threw the ball at my face which broke my glasses. I got a cut on the side of my nose that turned into a scar. I remember my friends all getting revenge for me by tripping him the whole game. 2. Not really the worst but annoying tray about glasses is keeping them clean so there's no spots. But using the wrong kind of fabric can end up scratching your lens. Yeah, I have a scar on the bridge of my nose from getting smacked in the face with a basketball in gym class. Was wearing metal framed glasses. Never will forget this. Went to a Slipknot concert with friends. It was in the middle of a cornfield near Omaha. Probably like 7ish years ago. Not fest. We were 2 hours from home so. Needed safe transportation home. I decided to be our designated driver. So everyone is getting slammed but me. I love the music so it's fine. About halfway through Slipknot's show. During spit it out a dude wildly doing the devil horns with his fist and rocking out accidentally forked my glasses off with his pinky. My glasses went flying outward onto the ground where they were instantly lost in a chaos of stomping feet, never to be redeemed. I watched the rest of the show as moving shapeless blobs, couldn't see a freaking thing. The show ends, and none of my friends are remotely okay to drive. I had my head out the driver window, literally like Ace Ventura for the 2 hours home so I could see the yellow line and stay in my lane. Freaking goddamn glasses. Set down glasses while I was looking for something in back of minivan. Finished then slammed lift gate down on them. Even worse, 
I saw it the split second it happened. I just imagine a loud new and then a shatter. Oh 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 I have one. So this requires a fair amount of background. For my eyesight, I'm fairly useless without my glasses. I have astigmatism in one of my eyes and my prescription is strong. I currently reside near Chicago, but I lived in Arizona for several months due to money job issues. My girlfriend and I had to be long distance for a time and it was a real strain. But I digress. It was two days before my return back to Chicago to live with my girlfriend after almost a year away. So we decided to have fun and go tubing with my sister. Yes, Arizona does have a fairly large river, aptly named the Salt River. It's a great place for riding in the tubes and fishing. The three of us embarked and rented out our tubes to enjoy the relaxing ride. Now I'm a large man. 6 feet 4 nearing 300 pounds and the current when you first arrive at the river is fairly strong. So getting into a inner tube could be a challenge. I deferred to go with a grand doll plop my butt down as soon as the tube hits the water and hope I don't flip method. To which, did not go well. My very large butt hit the very edge of the tube and proceeded to toss my giant frame into the water head first. Now to remind you of the post, I had my glasses on the whole time. No I did not decide to use my brain and save then somewhere in a baggie. I basically went balls deep into the fray and hoped for the best. Even when my face hit the water my glasses were still on. But I felt them slipping. Now, as I flipped into the water, my inner tube decided to follow suit somehow and flip on top of me. So now I'm in the water, inner tube holding my face down and faced with the ultimate decision. Jet up with all my strength and make sure I can breathe and worry about consequences later, or potentially drown thinking of a better idea. So I burst through the water like a less than majestic merman and I caught a blurry glimpse of my glasses in the clearish water. For a second, I thought everything would be right in the world, but life is a cruel unforgiving force. The current snatched my glasses away. I tried to grab them at the last second, but I couldn't locate them well enough. I even tried to jab my hands in the water a couple times to make sure they were gone for good. Meanwhile my sister and my girlfriend were a few yards away laughing their asses off at me. Apparently to them they only saw my legs in the air and the rest of my body in the water, which I admit would have been a hilarious sight. The worst part about this situation could be found in the background I provided. I had to drive back to Chicago, from Arizona by myself. My girlfriend does not do highways, much less 70 miles per hour interstate roads where there are semis everywhere, and I had to be there on a certain date for a job I set up in preparation. Luckily I found an old pair prescription of glasses that had one temple in a box I packed. D. Sorry for the long comment. Hope someone at least enjoyed ha ha. You had me at less than majestic merman. That was fab. I was out on a boat fishing with my ex-father-in-law when he flipped his pole to cast out his line and the hook caught my glasses and flipped them 20 feet from the boat into 150 feet of water. The worst part was watching them sink to the bottom of the lake on the dang fish finder screen. Better your glasses than your eye. Fell off my face into a porta potty while peeing. I might have been overserved at a concert. As far as I know, they are still there. Oh man that is definitely hello well. Those are gone forever moment. They got hit by a football. They were in my face. BTW. The two lenses imploded upon impact and I was left blind to be the goalie for the rest of the match. Man did high school suck. So, this happened to a friend of mine. She wears glasses and had only one pair as she'd broken a pair a week prior to this incident. This will become important later. So she had brought a guy home and he took her glasses off and put them on the bed just as things were getting hot and heavy. As they laid down, forgetting the glasses were on the bed, they crushed her glasses and got plastic digging into them. She had no glasses and had to get an emergency prescription for the world's ugliest glasses which basically meant instead of a walk of shame, she wore the glasses of shame. Well that's what she gets for buying a male prostitute s. I prefer. Bespectacled redditors and mine flew off my face in a car crash. Weren't in the car, my dad went to mechanics shop, couldn't find them, and we found them by the side of the road where the crash happened. One arm sticking out of the snow. Power went out in the middle of the night and I knocked the dang things off my nightstand. Got up to try and find them and what's the first thing I step on? 
Mash them flat as a pancake. Just a tip for anyone nearsighted if you turn on your phone's camera and hold the screen up to you face your cam use it to see like normal. Okay this is an excellent tip I literally just took my glasses off to try it and not kidding my mind is blown. Me and my friend had puppies at the same time. My dog ate one pair and her dog ate the replacement pair lol. I didn't have glasses for like 2 months. I broke my glasses while making out with my girlfriend and then I had to came to my house like a blind guy where I didn't see a crap during the whole journey. I walked for half km. Sounds like you were doing it wrong. Too much eye contact. Had them blown off my face by one of those splash mountain type rides. But here's the kicker. I wasn't on the ride. My dad took me and a buddy of mine to her amusement park that was about an hour and a half away. We're there for about 30 minutes before we see the water ride. There was a small bridge that crossed over the ride at the point where it hits the bottom and throws water all over the place. My buddy and me wanted to stand on the bridge and get doused by the water. Ride hits the water and splashes up and soaks us. We start to walk off the bridge. And I realize everything is blurry. The force from the water hitting us has knocked my glasses off. Try searching for half an hour. But can't find them. Had to leave. Because I was almost blind. I'm really nearsighted. I think we got to ride one ride. Lost my glasses. Then had to leave. I've done the same things. What is now six flags and MD. Glasses got swept away on the little bridge by the log flume and my kids had to guide me around the rest of the day. Luckily, my wife was there, but she had to drive home. It was winter. I took them off because I had iced right over and they snapped in half at the bridge because they got all cold and brittle. But then I went to work with no glasses and no one recognized me because apparently that's all I was to my co-workers. A floating pair of glasses. That explains how Superman hid his identity. Not my story, though I was there and do wear glasses. I went on a chartered tour of Japan, and on the flight from Los Angeles to Naruto, the guy in the aisle seat decided to take a nap. For whatever reason, he decided the safest place for his glasses was in one of his shoes, tucked safely under the seat in front of him. Not so safe, as it turns out, because mild turbulence hit, his shoe went into the aisle, and the beverage cart rolled over it. After we landed, most of us went to the hotel but the tour guide had to take him to whatever Japan's version of lens crafters is to get a new pair at, he told us over breakfast the next day, astronomical cost. I have never gone on a trip without a spare pair of glasses since, I just keep them in my suitcase so I can never forget them. I accidentally knocked my mum's clip on sunglasses into a portagen when I was like 3. I think that was the first memory I have of my mum being angry. This was back in the late 90s when they were expensive and cool novelties. Worst thing that ever happened to my own glasses was falling asleep with them on and waking up with them off. In two pieces at opposite ends of the bed. Night before Thanksgiving. Took my glasses off to play with my toddler who likes to kick. I laid them on the bed a safe distance away. 8 year old comes in hearing the laughter and WWE jumps onto the bed. Directly on my glasses. Snapping them in two at the nose bridge. Had to wear sunglasses to Thanksgiving dinner so I could see. I used to do a bit of welding. For a quick spot weld. Should I put on a mask? Nah. Close my eyes. Well. Aluminum has a tendency to spatter and it also has this weird soot. Right onto glasses it went. So, me, I'm the worst thing that has happened to my glasses. Also, always use PPE. Here are the top 3. Snapped in half when I forgot to take it out of the washing machine. Damaged by rugby. Hastily put back together. Only for much much later to break beyond repair by a punch to the face from a guy shorter than me. Falling apart. It first started with one of the temples falling off when I was cleaning it, I first hit back and it held still for a while, then at work, we were understaffed, it was crazy, and suddenly it fell off again. I had to cello tape it back together during my break, then when I was halfway during customer service, the other temple broke away and my glasses fell apart on the floor. I had to pick it up and pretend nun 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 nun
circular lenses as a little kid. One day I was looking up at the sky, a bird pooped, and it landed on one of the lenses. Better than your eye. I walked into my school's gym during after school care in 4th grade thinking all was well and I'd get to do some exercising. I did not see another student throw a volleyball nearby and I did not realize until then how strong this 3rd grader was, either. Said volleyball hit me square in the face directly on the bridge of my glasses. I will never forget how much that hurt my face and how grateful I was at my glasses. Miraculously, didn't break. Even 20-ish years later, I still remember that vividly, enough that I feel the injury almost as if it just happened. Ooh sorry to hear about the volleyball directly hit you on the face but at least you were okay and the glasses it didn't break. Volleyball and basketball balls can be pretty painful especially dodgeball. Mosh pit at a Metallica show in the late 1980s. I saw them flying off my face and away into the bodies and that was that. My son's 21 and we were driving out of town a month ago when he sticks his head out the window. Immediately, he looks at me and said my glasses are gone. We pulled over on the freeway and found them unbroken. He said he was acting like the Joker police car scene in TDK. I've had quite a few dumb moments with my glasses, but my worst happened just a few months ago. I was outside with my dogs, just living life as normal as I could manage. My glasses at that moment were a bit dirty and it was slightly irritating, so I tried to clean them. Suddenly, I heard a click, and I felt a sick feeling. The arm just popped off, not sure why, considering I was cleaning the lenses and didn't even touch it. It just gave up that day. Spent the whole day staring directly at my computer doing work for my classes, and it hurt like heck, but I managed to replace them shortly after. Other incidents. My dumb self ran into a wall, and I can't remember if I broke them or not. In elementary school, I would try to push the lenses to my eyes to see better. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just a really dumb kid, and ended up breaking them in half. I lost them many times upon waking up. As someone who's lived with glasses since I was really young, you'd think I'd be used to it by now. It turns out, I'm not. Over 20 years ago in high school I had a really big booger that I hooked up, the kind that feel like you pulled your brain through your nasal passage and I leaned out the window to spit it out. The new glasses went with my giant logy, never lived it down. I was a dumb middle schooler, I'd not been wearing glasses for long, probably only 2 years at that point. I had these super neat glasses that were supposedly kid resistant and they had flexible metal so that you could bend them at the nosy piece and they wouldn't break. I started showing them off, twisting the glasses around and locking them into themselves, like twisting them as far as they could go. After a certain amount of time that I don't remember because this was about 20 years ago, they'd finally had enough and snapped, right in the middle of the nosy piece. It was not a fun time when I got home from school that day, my mom was livid. When I was a kid I was coming home from a neighbor's house. I tripped and landed face first on a stone circle, walking path. My glasses were decimated, they were, also, a week old. My dad had just bought them and my RX is very odd and expensive, he wasn't pleased. Got thrown off my bike at 30 kph plus because my front wheel half enough of my crap. My glasses broke into three parts when they hit the tarmac and the rod side glass got a massive deep scratch. Also broke my collarbone. Big wave washed them off my face in the ocean. I frantically searched for them with blurry vision. Every time I'd seen them they'd get pulled back in by the current and I'd lose them again. Eventually got them back with help from bystanders. I'm close to legally blind. My current pair of glasses is actually from the kids section because my head is so goddamn small, and they have a clear rim. Two stories come to mind. The first time I thought they'd break is when I got up a cut in the jaw in a mosh pit. They flew off my face and into the crowd. I immediately dropped to the floor to look for them Velma style and people kept trying to pick me up thinking I fainted. They didn't have a scratch when I found them. The second time, it was my first day on vacation. I fell off a boat in neck deep water, and it was so murky that all I could do was fish around with my toes. It took 45 minutes but I found them. Still on my face to this day. 
I used super glue to do an on the fly repair of a crack in the frame above the lens. I didn't wait long enough before putting my glasses back on because I was already late for an important client meeting. The super glue bonded my glasses to my eyebrow. In the process of remedying this humiliating fiasco, I ended up yanking out half my eyebrow and re-breaking the very spendy frame into multiple, irreparable pieces. The client was amused. Face forced into a cake while I was blowing out the candles. The push was so hard, my face went so in and the glasses hit the surface below. People forget I have glasses whenever they're doing fun stuff. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.